Well, West Indies captain Stefani Taylor led her Tornado's team to victory over Falcons in the final of the inaugural February T20 tournament on Sunday. Falcons batted first after losing the toss, posting 151 for four from their 20 overs. Tornadoes then cruised to victory with 152 for two, winning by eight wickets with five balls to spare. Gerard Morrisilli has the recap. The toss and asked Falcons to take first knock in the final of the Fairbreak Women's Invitational T20 tournament. And it proved fruitful with this early wicket of Danny Wyatt for 11. It wasn't a long wait for the second wicket to fall. Shamari Atabatu serving the Tornadoes with more catching practice to be dismissed for just nine. Right place, right time. Susie Bates trying to sneak a run here, but would regret it as she was run out at the other end. Falcons in a spot of bother at 42 for three. Tornadoes were outstanding in the field all tournament, and that good fielding affected a second run out. The score, 59 for four at the halfway stage. Disaster strikes. Mary Zan Cap took control of the innings. Here she is blasting this run and Megar delivery for six. Goes six. Here she is again with another six off Stefani Taylor to move the score up to 129 for four. A South African would stroke a boundary to take her to a well-played half really century. Shot there by Cap, playing it with the full fit of the bat, and that's 50 up. What a shot to bring the 50. Falcons will eventually finish off on 151 for four. Well bold, very well bold there from Stefani Taylor. Sophie Devine will get the Tornadoes run chase off to an ideal start, crunching the first ball of the innings through the covers for four. Brilliant start by Sophie Devine. The New Zealanders knock up 51 from 35 deliveries included three sixes including this one of the bowling of Andrew Gurung. The Vines seem to take a liking to Gurung, smashing another six off the left arm seamer. The Vine combined for 76 with the opening partner Steer Callis. Here's Callis with a boundary of Jahanara. This massive six will carry the Vine to her half century. Tornadoes cruising to victory at 76 with a loss. That's the second time she's popped into the chairs and in the process moves to a half century in this final. She will be dismissed the following delivery though, trying to go for another maximum, but instead finding the long fielder. Captain Stefani Taylor added 34 to the run chase, including this six, the only one of her innings. And that brings the 100 up. Callis picked up where Divine left off with some aggression of her own. Yeah, Here she is with a boundary off Atapatu. She hit five fours in her knock of 44 from 41 deliveries. She would eventually be dismissed in the 17th over by her countryman Cap. However, the damage was already done with her team needing just 26 runs for victory. Sunelos will finish off the job for the Tornadoes. First with this maximum of Atapatu. And the four will seal the deal for the Tornadoes, reaching the target with five balls to spare to win by eight wickets. Will this be the shot? Yes, it is. And it's the Tornadoes who are going to lift the first fair break invitational trophy. Just look at this team. All right, so we had Stefani Taylor there. Her team, Tornadoes, walking away with the victory lance, a tournament that was showed live on Sportsmax. Yes. One that I didn't, I avoided missing any of the matches because, you know, I was happy to see our ladies yeah. starring. Stefani in this final match got 34 of 30 yes. balls. So good performance. And just all around, when we think about how a Caribbean woman represented, um, I was also very proud of the Andrew Dotted. And so much so that I actually did an entire piece on her for in case you missed it last week. Yeah. Speaking about um, her performances and how she ended this this tournament as the second most runs top yeah. scorer. Yeah, 289 runs at an average of 72.25 as well. So Deandra Dotton doing well there. Hayley Matthews, Shamila Connell, Shemaine Campbell, yes. also a part of the fair break. Brittany Good. Cooper. Yeah, Brittany Coop, and they played well. You, you looked at those highlights just now, and there was some very, very efficient-looking cricket there, especially mm -hmm. in the outfield, those runouts and so on. So the women uh, clearly enjoyed themselves at the fair break in Dubai, and they played some quality cricket. I, I, I pretty much enjoyed it. Yeah, I'm happy to, you know, just know that they're getting um, cricket under their belt. Looking forward to what's next for our Wendy's ladies. We take a quick break. We'll be back with Interactive.
Thank you for watching Sportsmax on YouTube. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and to click the notification bell to stay informed.